Hey, it's Lucy. I'm a third year PhD student, which means I've given lots of talks and seminars, but until last Friday, these were on the order of quarter of an hour on average to half an hour maximum. On Friday, however, I gave my first one hour lecture, and I don't think in my whole life I've ever monologued for that long about anything, let alone to an audience of 60 people. My audience was the Bristol Astronomical Society, they're a local group of non-specialists who were interested in space, and back in the summer they'd contacted me and said, would you mind giving a talk in the autumn? Of course that rolled around a lot faster than it had any right to, until it was two weeks to go and I thought this was a good amount of time to start preparing for it. And this video is on how I did that. First things first was to come up with a title. I had to do this almost as soon as I said I would come, and it was actually great because it forced me to get a rough idea of what I was going to talk about. After some thought, I went for Grey Mars, the world beneath the red dust, because the rocks where I study on Mars, if you blow off that dust, they're this gorgeous greenish grey colour, and that tells us a completely different story than if they were that same red all the way through. And from that point, I started getting a guide in my head on how I wanted to proceed with this talk. I'd want to talk about my research for some part of it, which meant that the first half of the presentation had to be laying the groundwork for my whole audience to understand that. The good part about starting with the critical stuff, the research, and then working back, was that I already had this nice repository of slides that I'd done in previous talks that I could splice into this one. So after 10 minutes work I already had a skeleton of a presentation, and that was really reassuring. Now, going back to my plan, I made a list of everything I needed to talk about before I could delve into that heavy research. With that rough plan in place, then I went back to my skeleton presentation and I could start to fill in the gaps. I could say, what do I want to say here, and how can I best say that? The title slide is as good a place to start with as any. Some people might rather wait till the end to do the slide, but I really like to see it already done, already professional and informative, as a kind of vision for what I want the rest of my presentation to be. I try not to make this slide look too cluttered. You want it to be intriguing and well laid out, because this is kind of the teaser trailer for your whole presentation. It's the one that's up there on the board while everyone's filing in. And now we can move to the main body of the slides. You've got your plan of attack, now go and execute it. What do you want to say in this slide? How can you best say it, and then get that idea down. Some general tips are don't use too much text, because this can be overwhelming. I personally try to avoid text where I can, unless I'm trying to convey some critical message. Another tip is choose a theme and stick to it. Consistency, it looks nice, it makes you look organised, and it's also easier for you because you don't need to design every slide from scratch. It's also a good idea to have separator slides, so words like introduction and methods, so that people can clearly visualise what stage they're at in the presentation, and see it progressing in a really defined way. I use Keynote to make my presentations, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again, Keynote is life-changing when it comes to making presentations, and will make you look far more professional than you really are. I had my presentation finished two days before I was due to give the talk. I didn't want to spend any longer than this on it, because I've got research to do, but at the same time, I really wanted it to be good, because an hour is a long time to ask of somebody, and I wanted it to be worth people's while. I ran through the presentation for the first time on the morning of the day of the talk. The first time I did it, it was an hour and a half long, but that was with me stopping and referring to my notes, and I also deleted a lot of slides that I realised I didn't need. The third time, though, I surprised myself by coming up with new and interesting ways to phrase things that I hadn't thought of before, and I had an idea of what the time was doing, and I knew which slides were coming up next as well, so I could figure out how best to make my speech flow into them. I did it one more time to convince myself it wasn't a fluke, and then that was it. If I'd done it anymore, I'd have just been torturing myself, and it would have been taking up too much time. I let myself chill out as I travelled to Bristol, put some music on, didn't worry about it. My heart did start to go a little bit when friends of mine said they were coming, and I think about half an hour before I was due to give the talk, it occurred to me very unhelpfully that this was my first ever invited lecture, but I was fine once I started talking. I got into that same flow I had during practice, I remembered to keep an eye on the time, I remembered not to talk too fast. I was really pleased and proud. Now I know that I can do this, I can give an hour-long talk and do it okay. The venue was fantastic, and the people were so nice, and I got asked such great questions at the end, like really stomping questions that made me rack my brains, which showed that people had been listening, they'd been following. I'd really recommend volunteering to give seminars wherever you can, and going into schools, and viewing every occasion to talk to the public as an opportunity to become better at this skill, and it's such an important skill to have, and you never know when you'll need it. I still get nervous, I will always get nervous, but the more you do it, the more you realise you can do it, and that gives you confidence both on and off the stage. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, you might like to check out a presentation I gave to the European Space Agency earlier this year, or see what my Mars research is all about, and they can be found in videos linked in the box thing below. Please do comment with any questions you have, tell me your own tips for giving presentations, and please do share if you think other PhD students might find this video helpful. My name is Lucy Kizik, I'm a third year PhD student at the University of Oxford, and thank you for watching the PH Diaries. Take care until next time.